Well, here's a law you should know about. Man, it's a law that lets you slide at a paying for any hospital emergency room business uh, visit. Because see, they have to uh, not charge you if you can't afford to pay. Uh, and here, here's the law. It's called the uh, Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act was passed in 1986. All the hospitals now are, are private and companies and stuff like that. So they're trying to, trying to squeeze every dollar out of everybody, taking you to court and all that kind of, I think uh, healthcare bills are, are the biggest reason why people are going bankrupt, man. And that's why we started Obamacare and it's still going on. <laughs> so anyway, here's what you wanna know about this. You can go to uh, the American College of Emergency Physicians. See, they're the doctors that take care of you. So they really have to know this stuff. Uh, so this is right from their websites. And that's ACEP.org. And it's at the American Medical Treatment and Labor Act is a federal law that requires anyone coming to an emergency department to be stabilized and treated. So if you come in with a knife in your chest, you know, oh, no, we can't take you. You don't have insurance. No, they have to stabilize you uh, and treat you if they if they want to send you somewhere else afterwards. But they first have to do that. You're pregnant. You're going to deliver a baby real soon. <laughs> and so they can't send you down the street, regardless of their insurance status and ability to pay. So that's right. Anyone coming to the emergency department is to be stabilized and treated regardless of their insurance status or ability to pay. But since 1986 ha has remained an unfunded mandate. See, that's the problem. Why, why the doctors are pissed off because nobody's, they have to pay for it. <laughs> it's the rules of the game. <laughs> it's hard to feel sorry for people making a couple hundred grand a year, is it? Uh, but anyway, that, that's what it is. Uh, and so you have to know about that. And, and what you should also know about it is Obamacare, what's going on. You only have a couple more days. Uh, I think it's uh, August 15th is the last day to apply open season because it's open season now because of the pandemic. It's normally open season at the end of the year for like a month or 30 days. Right? So people are, are joining because it's a lot cheaper now. I mean, most people are joining or paying only like $10 a month. So that's not bad. So you should check anyway, whatever you do, you have insurance, you don't have insurance, go to healthcare.gov, no matter who the heck you are. Uh, and what your income is, they're giving, you know, subsidies, you know, for, for people making a hundred grand or so. So go and do it. And so many people now, more people are eligible for free. So there's a lot more free things uh, what, what Biden put in. So go see if you could uh, get this for free or for very little, whatever it is, costs nothing to check it out. Don't talk to some, you know, healthcare salesman. Uh, check it out yourself first. And that's going healthcare.gov. OK, you only have a few more days. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on down. Well, I got two websites that help people find money and help they want to get out of financial trouble or to do the things they always want to do in life, buy a house, start a business, you know, get an education, uh, get out of debt, <laughs> things like that. And, and I concentrate for 40 years now or more probably on finding free sources of money. These are government grants or nonprofit organizations. So I have two services that, that help people do this. One is called lescohelp.com. And this is a, a closed Facebook group, you know, where we help each other. And, and I do the research. When you ask a question, you can ask me a personal question and you start a discussion that you need, tell me what you need money for. And I do my research to find you the best possible sources uh, of government programs or nonprofit organizations that will help you solve that financial problem. So that's $20 or 1995 a month. Uh, but if you don't want to join anything, and there's a lot of people like that, <laughs> I don't, I understand. I have another service for only $5.95. And this is where I, I, you could download a report of all the sources of money and help in your state for your problem. So if you have a financial problem, paying bills or debt and things like that, uh, you know, for $5.95, you download a report of the name, address, phone number, and video instructions of how to contact these people and how to apply for their money to solve your financial problem with debt or credit card, things like that. Then there's uh, another report for every state on starting a business, a nonprofit, 
pilot or invention or working on your crazy idea. <laughs> and then also how to get a higher paying job. This is job training money, education money, college money, things like that. And what they, they remember, they're just places in your state. That's what that's where the action is. Okay, then there's for health care, dental care, prescription drugs, and even pet care. <laughs> and then there's free consultants in every state, mentoring, consulting, uh, research, legal advice, things like that. And then real estate, you want to buy a house, rent a house, you got to pay your bills for mortgage and rent, things like that. And then about a dozen or two dozen places in your state that give you free legal help. So all those reports are available on lescoreports.com. So that's two places. Maybe I can help you there. If not, just uh, watch the videos on YouTube, and, and that gives you links to, uh, to go get it yourself. The biggest problem is you have to know it's there. That's what I do, and I've been doing it for 50 years, and I hope I have about 15 more. <laughs>